Well, now I have to get this bonus again. So I can reset my Kongs. I don't remember what the, that chest has. Probably a Kong letter or something, nothing important. Okay, what's kind of annoying is that there's no way to die in this bonus. You either have to wait out the timer or beat it, and frankly, beating it is faster. It should be faster, but I'm not messing it up. I'm gonna switch with Dixie when we do this frickin' section. Yeah, that's how I get the DK coin. And then we just, like, skip a chunk of the level. I'm pretty sure the cannon barrel is not supposed to fly that far. And it's still... it's still rolling. Wow! Alright, I found a little glitch! Like, if you, if you get this far after cannon shoots a barrel, the barrel will keep going, but it will never... but the sound will never stop. That's pretty funny. Whew! Yeah, that's a pretty fun level. I guess I'll game save. Well, here Wrigley tells you about the, uh, the, the secret exits, uh, in which I used uh, two of them. Parachute Panic, here's the return of the Beehive levels, and the last Beehive level. This one has a new animal rank. I just remembered where the DK coin was. Yeah, no, we're gonna, we're gonna, we can technically skip that section. We're gonna die now. So yeah, you need Dixie to get this, as I just remembered. One of the easiest DK coins in the game. Let's go. This is Purple Squawks, also known as Squawks. He um is the titular parrot shoot of the level. <laughs> get it, parrot shoot. Even even SpongeBob later makes that pun. But not a parakeet! Paramedic! <laughs> uh... Actually though, if you have the Kong stacked, you can walk over the honey. That can be beneficial in a few areas. Uh, Quox cannot do anything to attack, you just have to use him as a parachute and float on down. So between this game and... got a hold left here. And there's a bonus, okay. I just remembered that one. Similar to the DK coin. But between this game and DK3, uh, Quox is one of the more annoying animal buddies to use. At least in this one, we have Squawks. Give us a little boost. I like how it goes backwards, because otherwise it'll just fall down. Theoretically, you could just use Dixie's um, twirl and hover down the same way. Case in point, because we just missed Quonks. Even gives you less of a hitbox, you know? On the bright side, it's the only level that will have Quonks. Shit! Oh, I 
I gotta get back up there. Crap. Oh, crap. Okay. Like, who here didn't expect a uh, squat to be in this bonus? Alright, this one's interesting. Um, you have to use um, Squats' TNT to destroy the last bee. That one's uh, pre pretty neat. worth it. Argue that that hitbox didn't touch. just to use Dixie in that section, like, you know? When I get hit, I'm gonna switch to Dixie and just hover down that way. <laughs> Fuck. Okay. I don't care anymore. No, I don't want to play as you anymore. Come on.
Oh, come on! That's like the easiest dodge ever. Unfortunately, we don't have enough creme coins to do Clubba's kiosk, but we can do Swanky's bonus bonanza. What was the name of this area of the island? Uh, Gloomy Gulch. How many little wasps did the end of- did the boss- the, did the boss giant wasp break up into- what? Why are they using end of- end of area? Like was that that's just how they um term their bosses, just call them end of end of area bosses. Before say with bosses. It's so dumb. What's the name of the trendy surfing con who operates his barrel flights? Chunky. Ah, Chunky! Haha! <laughs> Foreshadowing Chunky Kong! Of course we already have Cranky. What is the name of the forest level with the blowing wind in it? Gussie Glade. On the Kremlin Island map, how many small wasps hover around the wasp hives? Alright, that's pretty clever. There's three of them. What is the name of the Kremlin Island that you are on? Alright! Crocodile Isle. Yeah, we never got the official name of this overworld. It's called Crocodile Isle. It's the, um, the homeland of the Kremlings. It's actually really, really neat. I really like Crocodile Isle as a location. Which of these is not the name of an area on the island you have played? Uh, we played that one, we played that one. There's no Crocodile Canyon. What is your Swordfish Buddy's name? Ah, yeah, now I get the On Guard name reveal. How many world map flows are there on the shelf in Kong College? Two? Okay, okay, that was a lucky guess. Yeah, you can see why Rareware reuses this mechanic in Banjo Kazooie with the quiz games. I love that. Gonna buy Funky's flights for this world. Okay, now we're going to Web Woods. This is one of the worst levels. It's also the last forest level. Yeah, all the forest levels are within um, Gloomy Gulch. It's one of the rare times that happens. So, green cutlass. Now, the normal yellow cutlass will, um, get their swords stuck in the ground when they attack, allowing you to attack them. But for the green ones, they will always recover instantly, giving you little time to attack them. So, what makes this level so bad? Um, for one thing, it's one of the longest levels in the game, so it's just tedious to play. There's an easy two up. Yeesh. We come up here. Uh, that will help us get to the said two up, but we don't need it now. This level is dedicated to Squitter, as in the title Love Woods. secret up here. I think in one of these forest levels there's um, a hidden room with a Rareware logo. I think it was an earlier level. I don't remember where it is though, so that's a shame. But, uh... This level is very long, and not only is it long, it has one of the worst DK coins that if you miss it, you have to play the whole level over again. So take a wild guess where it is. I 
It's not there, sadly. That would have been a nice place to put it. Nice and simple. There's also a bonus room here that is very craftily hidden. It's not hard to get either, so I do like that. there. This cannon, uh, this cannon shoots a very slow cannonball. You have to follow it all the way back to the left. Now, if you're a speedrunner, you can do this with the faster cannonball that he initially shoots. But, uh, I'm not a speedrunner. You just less you have to do that. Yep, that's how you discover that bonus. That is very clever. And of course, we have the good old beautiful horns, but without the beautiful music. Yeah, that's it. Unfortunately, we won't be able to actually play Club as Kiosk until we beat the boss of this, uh, level. Because that's uh, the only time we'll get the 15th Krem coin. Oh god, that's a hard jump. All right, look at this. So that thing that we just did with the clock with the cannon. Wait, are we gonna get another bonus? Okay, don't don't shoot. Oh, I think we are getting another bonus here, so we will be able to do Clubus Kiosk. So yeah, we just have to do that again. Well, the first one was more clever, just because the cannonball goes slowly. Oh, here's the Rareware logo. All right. I mean, this is... I'm pretty sure there's another room like this somewhere, but that's pretty nice. Ugh, at least that uh, resets our Kongs. So, look at the DK coin. Pink. Pink. Yeah, this sucks. <sighs> yeah, if you missed that, you have to go through this whole level again. Yeah, screw you, Rareware, screw you. But with that, let's do Clubba's Kiosk. He has different dialogue if you keep revisiting him. I should check out the other dialogue. Fiery Furnace! This is the third lava level that's outside of the lava world. I, I love the colors here. I love the, the, the purple the purple soil. It's a really, uh, really uh, beautiful contrast here. The 
gimmick here are these multi-directional barrels. They're not the barrels that you can just, that you, that just stay in one place but you can turn around. No, you can actually move these barrels. But they will only be facing upward, of course. So you have to be in the right place when you fire. I mean, obviously taking the upper route is more beneficial than the, than the trickier route because it actually rewards you with coins and just bananas. I don't know what the, the design decision was there. Whoa! I have both your Kongs in case you missed that. You get that, uh, freaking checkpoint barrel. Um, oh yeah. We do need both of our Kongs alive to get the bonus. Otherwise, you have to leave it in Fate's hands. What do I mean by that? Well, you'll see. Quite, quite a lot of green cutlasses. And yeah, Keta, this is the Keta Nine Tails' second of three levels. And that is not the only time we'll be seeing him. Whoa, okay, we don't have to land on that guy. Alright, there's a couple of them here. Um, if you let them spin around, they'll tire out, and then you'll be able to attack them. One thing I never pointed out is that if enemies die in the lava levels, you'll see some smoke rise up in the lava, indicating that they fell in. The same is true of the, um, the, the ship levels, except there's a splash of water. In the, in the swamp levels, you hear a splash, but you don't really see an animation. I always thought that was a neat little touch. I wish um, other, other Donkey Kong games would do that. So yeah, if you don't have both Kongs to do a Kong throw, you have to rely on Keta Ninetales to throw you. So this is uh, pretty neat. One thing, it foreshadows the next Bramble level, which we won't really see for a while. But um, this multi-directional barrel um, is infinite. So it's kind of like playing Squawks, except you don't have to keep tapping the, uh, the... You don't have to keep tapping the jump... FUCK! Button. Oh, God. This is the level I was thinking of. Oh, that's the one that forces you to end the level, and then you have to replay the whole thing to get that bonus, so yeah. We got that DK coin in the previous one, at the cost of not getting this creme coin. So, we have to replay that level. Screw you, Rareware. I keep thinking I'm gonna overshoot it, so I hesitate.
Okay, why don't I just kill a stupid ass? I'm trying to be hasty, that's why. Should just yeah. I should just die, or else we'll just have to trust the nine tails. Ah, uh, but this time you can, um, you can quick exit, and then you'll restart the checkpoint. Okay. Good design, Rareware. So pretty much, you cannot hesitate at that section. It's like a perfect timer. It's one of the few times I reward you a two-up. 
On the bright side, now that that level's beaten, that's pretty much the end of the bad levels. Because the levels are pretty, um, nice from here on. They're challenging, but they don't pull any dick moves. So, it's traditional for Donkey Kong to recycle at least one boss as a recolor. Here, they're recycling Crow as Creepy Crow. For this one, you have to jump on the crow, or on the neckies that are still alive. They're not ghosts. And they will, and they will somehow screw up a jump. Not sure how that happened. But then the, the fleshy neckies, which is creepy, will spawn a barrel for you to attack creepy crow. So this boss is also unique in the sense that, um, it's kind of part level. It's like we, you know, we first. Why am I so bad at this now? It's like we first fought Crow, um, in, in the in the day version or the clear weather version of the the, the top seal levels. Now we're fighting Creepy Crow in the rainy version of the top seal level. Also, that barrel spawns in random spots. I just noticed that. Oh crap, now I don't get Diddy Kong back because I screwed. Because I, uh, took damage. I'm making... Oh, there also would be a DK barrel here. Yeah, it's one... It's like, uh, one of the only bosses that give you an extra DK barrel. So this is a really unique boss. Strategy time! Let's go back in here, reset our Kongs, and then go fight Creepy Crow. Well, I should use Dixie because she can attack him better. Work now, baby. By the way, that uh, flag there—that is pretty much the—that is the uh, the Kremlin Jolly Roger. I used it in my um, Pirate Wars uh, poster. I kind of did like a redesign of it based on that design. Didn't really come out too well, but I digress. Here, that's that's lame. I can't speed run this. Oh, now I just made it harder for myself. I'll look dick me, honestly. Ah, oh, I forgot to get Dixie back. At least when he charges at you, you can just do this. I 
And of course, the finale takes place on the actual crow's nest. You know, what, one aesthetic I did like is how the boss marker was located at the base of the crow's nest, indicating you had to climb it, so that's pretty clever. But now we go to world- oh yeah. We got everything in world 5! But now we go to world 6, K. Rules Keep. Yeah, the seemingly last world is a castle. Wink, wink, nudge, nudge. And I like how you can see DK Isles in the, in the, dis, uh, in the distance. Starting with Arctic Abyss. This is our second ice level. Yeah, this world is technically home to the ice levels, with Black Ice Battle and the Lost World being the um, the outlier, like the, the traditional outlier with these environments. But if we come up here with the Kong throw, we can um, find a little shortcut, nothing really else. So yeah, um, it's a water level. You thought the water levels were going to end with the last, um, whoops, well that was stupid with the last ship hold level, but you were wrong. We don't really need air comms because it's an on-guard level. We're gonna get our comms back right now, because it's a bonus. Impeccably easy bonus. I should just go get my comments back right now, but I'm not gonna. So in this level, when the puffduses explode, they make a little ringy sound. I always thought that was beautiful. I want to charge here. Um. Okay, I guess not yet. There's going to be an area where you do have to charge before the water lowers. Here's another variant of the Shuri that bounces bounces off surfaces, other than the ones that target wherever you are. Oh, here's where you need to charge. And that's how you get the DK coin. You have to do something similar to that in Lockjaw's Locker, uh, if you don't have it. But, of course, I just skipped Lockjaw's Locker and used the uh, Kong Throw to get that. So, yeah. But you can do it again here and get some prizes, if you're actually fast enough, apparently. Kind of bit that. It's, it's like if you're charging and the enemies just hit the top of on guard, it still counts. I will say on guard's hitbox for his attack can be a bit inconsistent. Either for better or for worse. Look at how the camera scrolls over here. They're supposed to, I know one of these is supposed to be a secret, it makes me think it's that one. I'm just gonna go slowly here. Here's the secret. Rang any bang bang, a rang any bang bang. Alright, and this has the same graphical texture as Black Ice Battle, where you can see through the ice. That's pretty clever.
But with that, that's the end of the level. I think it kind of got glitched on the surface there. Being that level unlocks the final club as Kiosk, right against DK Isles. Unfortunately, we can't really get it until we get all the other Krem coins. It's sort of lashes with the cat of nine tails for you if I don't get any booty this time. Hell uh, yeah, the, that's a nice little hit there. Bite him. That's not enough, you banana scuffing, scummy landlubbers. So that's what happens if you choose to bite him. Windy Well! It's another wind level! And the return of the crystal mine outside of World 2. Yep, I remember that happening, that happening quite a few times. A ping ping pong, ping pong, a ping ping pong, ping pong. The wind flows upward this time. It reminds me of uh, Celeste, although this game did it first. Oh, oh wow, I got him before he uh, pulled the swords up. Okay, I'm trying to hold down. Why is it automatically force me left or right when I do that? It's annoying. How did I dodge? Oh, dude, you're supposed to go rightward. Or no. No, I think you're supposed to clip up to the uh, through the floor there, but I just kind of... Did an awesome maneuver, because I'm good. A doll. Yep, that's pretty clever. He had to do a little roll there to get some momentum to go under him. That was enjoyable. What? Why did I go down with the momentum? gonna help with me there, but I guess not. Why did they both shoot? What the heck? Why is this all so inconsistent now? Yeah, don't jump and grab that one up, or else you have to do more wind shenanigans here, but nope. Alright, jump here, go underneath, and DK coin. Pretty easy. Ugh. I will say, uh, Dixie looks adorable when she's being blown up like that. Damage boost. Controls you into thinking there's a squawk somewhere. Where, where, where was squawks? Uh, 
Ah, okay. So yeah, one more bonus at the end here. And here's Squawks. And how original! It's another Bramble level. I really like overusing this for the bonuses. But it's extremely easy. They could have easily did that with the wind mechanic, and I'm disappointed that they didn't. How do we... How do we get the get the bounce? Oh, right, that, that's how, of course. Oh, wait, that was really lucky. I missed all the other letters! So yeah, pretty easy level. Now we'll go to Castle Crush. This is our first castle level. I love I love the music here. This is pretty epic uh, villain lair music. Way cooler than Bowser's Castle. Now you want to come through here and you'll get Rambi. I'm not really sure how to. Oh no! Okay, so like there would have been a DK barrel on the left that you had to use to get that, but the since this is hard mode, you just have to uh, damage boost through. So when it, when it comes to Donkey Kong 3, they're going to give you DK barrels in areas where you have to have a DK barrel. But as far as this game goes, it's just a bunch of oversights. The climbing up here is made much easier with Rambi. But naturally, you do need him for a bonus. See how it goes more slowly here? That's to give you time to charge up. Now, this um, crusher here does automatically kill bees, but it doesn't count as you killing them. You have to kill them yourself to get the creme coin. But that's the end of Rambi's section, and we got our Kongs back. I think if you go on that ground down there, you do find, like, a Kong letter or something, but it's not really a big deal. I guess you got nothing better to do while you're waiting for that press to catch up. Okay, that part's fun. But now, we're going to get another animal buddy to help us. This level is pretty generous in that regard. And now we got Squawks! Now we can just... This makes this level a ton easier, because now you can just fly over all of this. You don't have to worry about that press at all. Fuck. And now we need Squawks to quickly go ahead of the press so we can come down and get that DK coin. It's impossible to get that without Squawks. And, as usual, Squawks opens a bonus for us. And now thankfully reset our comms as well. So this level is basically automatic. You just had to not get crushed against the ceilings. Like, what's even the point of the timer? This is pretty much an auto-scroll level. Nick Sponge is playing Breath of the Wild! Go go for you, Nick Sponge. That sentence didn't come out right. 
pretty sure he'll be playing um, Splatoon 2 as well once the Splatfest is out. Splatfest doesn't come out until 2 p.m., I read, so I have plenty of time to finish this game. Most likely start on Donkey Kong 3, because that is going to be an awful game. Yeah, over there would have been a DK barrel. But on the bright side, without the DK barrels, you don't have to hear that annoying <laughs> just trolling you until you're able to actually grab it here. So yeah, that guy was called a cruncher. Um, we've seen quite a few of the blue crunches. Basically, if you jump on them, they'll turn red and move faster. You can only defeat them by using an by using Rambi or a team throw. In these new levels, we get a pink crunch up. I don't really know the difference between the blue and pink ones, because they had the same they had the same traits basically. Like maybe the pink ones move faster in their base form? I really don't know. That's pretty much how you uh, get the, the, the uh, gold prize here. In which case, I want the coin, because that's more important than 1-ups. I mean, like, there's not a moment where you had to save, like, 99 coins to get, like, the rarest item in the game or something. Alright, that's all those. Clapper's Cavern. I like this level. I just want to have a lot of coins just to make sure we get all the, the quizzes and monkeys and stuff. So right, up, right off the bat, there's a secret up here. I'm just gonna take out some spinies and a clap trap. And it's just some basic platforming. It's uh, no challenge at all. So here's the gimmick of this. Oh yeah. Oh, but this bonus drops you off here, where you have to push B apparently. I guess that's... Oh, okay, there it is. Yep. So there is a freaking um, hook up there if you just land it right. And that's how you get the DK coin. So yeah, I can only get there through the bonus. But as you can see, today's gimmick is... Um... Um... Slopjaw? Is it Chomp? Snap... Snapjaw. Yeah, that's this one's name. So yeah, Snapjaw comes back. Wow, that's stupid. And Clapper also comes back. He can freeze the water and prevent Snapjaw from getting you. Now this level makes clever use of the ice physics. Because uh, you have to do um, slides to get under a lot of these bees. Now Snapjaw doesn't come this high for some reason. But you do get on guard. But if you like clip it, you can go down to where he is and some cool happens. Wow, goodbye on guard, because that I'm just bad at Donkey Kong for some reason. There's just some bananas there. I want revenge on you guys. I want revenge on you guys! Dang it! Revenge doesn't pay. Yeah, obviously don't get rid of on guard just yet, because you want to go through here. Uh, do you see how the spikes just kind of flip, kind of clip behind that wall? Well, that indicates a bonus. <laughs> Weird indication, I know. All right, this is creative. You gotta kind of drag on guard across the floor for a bit, but then you just gotta keep speeding along until you, uh, until you get in. You know, you don't even need on guard there. You can just run through normally. It's kind of a uh, like, if you decide to do that, it's kind of a wasted opportunity. Like, this should have just given me an automatic on guard by then. No point to falling in this little pond here. Well, that guy falls in, though. But now, uh, Snapjaw is back, so we gotta do some quick slide maneuvers to, uh, get over in time.
<laughs> I hit the one behind me, that's hilarious. And we need Dixie to get the prize here. There is a glitch that happens where if you abandon On Guard right at the sign, um, On Guard will be there at the at the goal. And then it'll cause like the Kongs and Schmidt to turn to turn golden. That's that's actually a pretty funny glitch. But uh that's all the ice levels in the game, which is kind of sad, because I like the ice levels. Chain Link Chamber. Unlike uh, the first castle level, this one is not automatic. You can generally take your time like any normal level. It's basically a bunch of chain climbing, which is a uh, yeah, pretty basic gimmick here. Now, the DK coin in this level was the last DK coin that I ever found in the, in the, in the whole game. It's not even that, um, it's cleverly hidden, like, it's easily missable, but once you know, know how to get it, it's not hard to get. There are some secrets in where these, um, crooks are. Oh, that was awesome. I didn't defeat you, but that was awesome. And the top crook here will hide our, uh, in this little ball. By the way, that music when you're on the um when you're on the little load screen there, if you leave it on long enough, it's actually a remix of Swanky's theme. That's pretty nice. So now there's only five more Krem coins left to get in the whole game. Yeah, almost at the end, people. So this level can be pretty challenging, but it's overall a nice little... It's a nice little platforming level. Now, you can also come up the left way, and I think, uh... I forgot what the left route has. I think it might be just more of the same. That would have been DK Barrel, because what's that doing there? Okay. Alright, so yeah. When you see a little, a single banana on a part of the chain, that indicates a secret. In which case, I didn't even remember this right away. I didn't even remember this at all, but yeah, here's a invincibility barrel. That makes this section a ton easier. Kill these bees. Now the checkpoint is a little bit, a little bit out of the way. Like, you have to come over here to get that. It looks like an optional secret, but no, that's the, che the checkpoint. Wow! Oh, come on! I thought it was going to last longer. I didn't, I really don't remember that invincibility barrel, so that lasted uh, quite a long time. This feels janky. I probably would have been the empty barrel as well. Nothing really down there. We can choose our route again. Might as well just come up the Necky route. It's, it's a lot easier than dodging the bees. Yeah! Yeah! Yeah, no cheating! has a lot of frame rate drops. So, uh, here's where the DK coin is. It's right past the end. Really, uh, really trolly. And of course that banana is the indicator. Wanna watch out for these, um, cannons. Now, look up where those cannons are standing. There's a little hole there for a bonus. 
that's your indicator to find this little secret. Pretty, uh, pretty satisfying. Yeah, I like how the chains here indicate the direction it goes. It's not really a big deal, but it's a nice little uh, design choice. Only four more creme coins left to find. Yeah, I forgot! So those bees are kind of interesting in that they don't start moving until uh, you get to a certain point. I guess that's to make this a bit fair, so I don't have to wait for them. You want to be fast, though. Okay. I just want to keep on climbing, because the neckies are going to come. There's probably some secrets in some of those necky, necky places, but we don't really need them. Anything in here? No. Oh, that's, uh, that's the level. There's uh, the G up here. Easy level. Little Scotty, oh yeah, little Scotty, yeah. 